Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Welcome back to Open Mic Night. Today we are going to two open mics. We're going to go to the Outlaw Cigar Shop and then the Comedy Club of Kansas City. It's going to be fucking crazy, but first, we got to write some jokes. Muse, give me the funniest jokes ever created. Put them in my brain. All right, baby, I got my three jokes for tonight. Number one, I love meeting autistic people because I know if they have autism, it means that they've been vaccinated. It's true, and I've met a lot of autistic people. In fact, in high school, my entire class was autistic. I still don't know why I was put in that class. All right, number two, 99% of success is just staying horny. Your ability to make money correlates directly with your ability to maintain an erection. When you blow your load, you're basically blowing your money. The more sperm in your balls, the more dollars in your bank account. I had a friend once, he was a millionaire, but then he jerked off one time and now he's dead. Died in a helicopter crash. His name, Kobe Bryant. Ever heard of him? All right, number three, I only hit on girls in relationships because if a girl is single, it means that nobody wants her. She's like the piece of bread at the end of a loaf. Nobody wants it. But a girl in a relationship, that's good bread, middle of the loaf bread. Everybody wants the middle bread unless it gets smashed too much. All right, boys, those are my jokes for tonight. We're gonna go to the outlaw first. It's gonna be crazy. I'll see you fuckers there. We are on the way to Outlaw Cigar. The rare Tuesday Outlaw Cigar. Usually this open mic is on Thursday, but sometimes they have to reschedule because the room gets rented out for other stuff. So this is one of those weeks. We're doing it on Tuesday. We made it to Outlaw, baby. Look who just pulled up. What up? Out of the hospital, bro? Uh, I didn't know that was a recent. The, they gave me the fentanyl, dog. They gave me all the opioids, son. What? Lucky, bro. Yo, we got here hella early. They're setting up the stage behind me right now. I anticipate a small crowd tonight, even by outlaw standards. But we'll just wait and see what happens. Prepare yourself for the comic styling of the very funny Kansas City's one and only. Coming straight to the stage. I'm going to put this. All right, boys, we did it. It was uh, it was a small crowd. It was just three comedians in the front row, pretty much. Maybe four comedians in the front row and a couple comedians in the back. Nobody was even there. I told the joke about autistic people being vaccinated, and I told the first part, and then I just completely lost my train of thought, and I was like, um... I was just so bad. And then I eventually made my way back and tried to finish the joke. I love hanging out with autistic people because I know they're vaccinated. <laughs> I always, um, it's true. Um, autistic people are vaccinated. I would know, I've met a lot of autistic people. In fact, in high school, everyone in my class was autistic. Still don't know why they put me in that classroom. Oh man. And then I told like my motivational speech after that. The other day I heard something that changed my life. 99% of success is just staying horny. The more sperm in your balls, the more money in your bank account. If you blow your load, you're blowing your money. Your ability to make money directly correlates with your ability to maintain an erection. All right. I had a friend one time. He was a millionaire. And then he jerked off one time. Now he's dead. <laughs> Helicopter crash. His name was Kobe Bryant. Ever heard of him? Yeah. 
thought you should know. And then I talked about hitting on girls with a boyfriend. I only hit on girls who have boyfriends because girls that don't have boyfriends, that means that nobody wants them. They're like the piece of bread on the end of a loaf. Just nobody wants it. But girls with boyfriends, that's like good bread. That's bread in the middle. <laughs> Everybody wants that. Unless it gets smashed too many times. <laughs> and then you're like, I don't want it anymore. Yeah, that was pretty much the whole set. I went over like five minutes, I think. I was the first comedian to go, so now I'm going to go drive over to the club and sign up a few people. I'll see you fuckers at the club. We made it to the comedy club, baby. Let's go see what spot I got. Bro, we, we got a terrible spot. We got number 34. Fuck. I'm going to have to try and trade with somebody. Yo, there is a back page, so I'm not dead last, but still a terrible spot. Guys, guess who's going 33 right before me? It's me, guys. It's Phil Andrews. It's the Phil Andrews. We're going to hit him with the one-two punch, baby. Knock him out, dude. All six of them. Straight up. Hey, man. We got some time to kill him, bro. Yeah, dude. We got some people to kill. We on number 17 right now. We're an hour into the open mic. It's only getting more fun out here, man. It's dark out here now. Yeah. So. We still got another hour. Yeah, probably going to go up in another hour. Yeah. Phil traded up, now he's going number 29. Hell yeah, we're moving up. Start well done. The bottom, now we're here, baby. Yeah. I'm still 34, though. But. Dang. And hey, please help me welcome the next comic to Michael Blake. <laughs> Boom, bitch. We did it. So I went up really late, and most people had left, but there was one big table in the back with like 10 or 12 people, and they were laughing at like everybody, so that was like the, my main audience. I mean, they weren't laughing at everybody, but they were, some people were cracking them up, so I knew it was like a good opportunity. And they're like the perfect demographic, like they're all my age. And so um, started out by talking to them a little bit. Hell yeah, baby. What's up, table in the back? Are you excited? How many schools have you shot? How many? No, it's okay, it's okay. I usually don't talk about it, but... <laughs> Shot up a couple in my day. Never been caught. Pleaded insanity every time. They let me go. I told that joke about sucking my own cock, and that one did good. Uh, something recent that happened to me, I got my first blowjob last night. <laughs> yup. Finally learned how to suck my own cock. <laughs> Classic. I told that joke about autism that I wrote today. Yo, we got any autistic people in the crowd? I love autistic people because I know they've been vaccinated. Hey, I've got all my vaccines, dude. I've, uh, no, I've met a lot of autistic people. In, in fact, in high school, everyone in my classroom was autistic. Uh, still don't know why I was in there. I was supposed to be their leader or something, I think. I told that joke about the last piece of bread. Yo, who's got a boyfriend in here? I only hit on women that have boyfriends. Because if a girl doesn't have a boyfriend, that means nobody wants her. She's like the little slice of bread at the end of the loaf. No. <laughs> but if you have a boyfriend, that means you're like one of the middle bread. Everybody wants that. Unless it's been smashed too many times. Then, then people don't want it. Yo, where are my strong, independent women at? Makes them... Now I know where to avoid. <laughs> Now, where are my weak, codependent women at? Yeah. There we go. That's my type. Weak, codependent with a boyfriend. <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> and then I told that joke about motivation. 99% of success is just staying horny. All right? If you blow your load, you're basically blowing your money. 
The more sperm in your balls, the more money in your bank account. Your ability to make money cor correlates directly with your ability to maintain an erection. All right? I had a friend, he was a millionaire. Jerked off one time, now he's dead. <laughs> nope, he died in a helicopter crash. Kobe Bryant. Yep, ever heard of him? Not the basketball player, different one. He's, he's a plumber. My, <laughs> my friend Kobe. All right, you guys have been a wonderful crowd. Thank you. It was a good set. That was the comedy club tonight. I'm glad there was a good audience. Tomorrow night, we are going to the Rhino Classic Open Mic in North Kansas City. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Peace.